Welcome back to Just Shake or Steer. My name is George and I'm so happy to see your smiling faces. I can't see them, but I'm happy and I'm presuming you're smiling when you're watching. Today, we are doing a fantastic cocktail, a favorite of mine, Rusty Nail. It's a very old cocktail, lovely classic, made only from two ingredients and this is blend scotch whiskey and blend aged whiskey, scotch whiskey with herbs and spices and heather honey which it's called drum beauty. i hope you try drum beauty. if you never try it you should change this and you should try it it's fantastic whiskey liqueur with a lovely heather honey okay however because it's my favorite cocktail uh, i wanted to make a exact recipe as is the classic but a few days ago i received a Cotswood whiskey liqueur. So this is a distillery based in England. They make fantastic gin, they make whiskey and they just released a brand new whiskey liqueur. So I've tried a few days ago and it's a very similar to the Drumbuie. The difference is the Drumbuie is made with heather honey and spices. This one it's made with Italian Amaro and botanicals. However, the Amaro is a sweetener so when i try it it's pretty much if not okay it's not 100 percent but it's 90 percent same flavor and taste and a feeling and warm like the drum we bring to the table so i'm gonna put the drum away and i'm gonna try my favorite cocktail with something new which is gonna be very interesting for me because i've tried the cotswood whiskey liqueur on its own and it's absolutely brilliant but I want to try it, how it's performing the rusty meal. So let's do it. Originally, the cocktail is made in a rock glass. You can make it directly in the glass, put the ice, mix the two ingredients, stir it, and serve. However, I like to dilute my cocktail a little bit and chill a little bit the cocktail before I serve over a fresh ice so I can have it for a little bit longer and stop any dilution of the cocktail to enjoy the full flavor of the blended whiskey and the whiskey liqueur. So for this, what you need? Blended Scotch whiskey. I'm using Chivas Regal, 12 years old. You don't have to do that. You can use any Scotch whiskey blended, for example, like Bells or Famous Grouse. You don't have to go crazy. I mean, Chivas Regal, 12 years old. It's not that expensive, but it's quality good whiskey. So if you want to treat yourself, make it with the Chivas. So 50 ml of the whiskey. As I mentioned, you can build it directly in your glass, so you don't need mixing glass. I just like it this way. Then we have 25 ml of the whiskey liqueur. Now, depends where you're watching. Maybe the Cotswood, it's not gonna be available to you. So remember, I'll put the original recipe down in the description with a drum beauty. So you don't need to go and do any substance. But however, if you are able to find the Cotswood, whiskey liqueur I highly recommend it uh, don't get me wrong it's not because they sent me the bottle to try it if it's not good I won't use it so it's really good it's deserve the attention now let's put some ice here there you go and just give it a little stir don't need to go too much just to chill a little bit I do find uh, steering cocktail very meditating. It's so nice. You can just stay here for ages. Obviously you don't want to because the ice is gonna go everywhere. So, but give it a stir until you feel the mixing glass outside. It start uh, steaming and it's get cold. There you go, that's enough. I'm gonna grab my rock glass and I'm gonna use one big cube of clear ice uh, as I mentioned before you can just put filled up the glass with ice you don't need to do anything else so I'm putting the strainer there and that's all we're doing strain the cocktail over the ice look at that beautiful gold color and it's optional, but if you have Angostura and if you like a little bit of bitterness like I do, 
you can just do one or two dashes of Angostura bitter or if you prefer to go a little bit more exotic like a, a citrus flavor you can go with the orange bitter it's up to you it's an optional you don't have to use it also the garnish it's optional you can have a lemon twist inside I don't like to have the lemon twist because I like the sweetness and the warm feeling from the whiskey from the whiskey liqueur so I'm keeping it this way and this ladies and gentlemen it's let me just give it a little stir with angostura so ladies and gentlemen this is the rusty nail simple as it is two ingredients cocktail stood the test of time and it's absolutely delicious Ooh, beautiful now with the coarse wood i can say straight away the difference cocktail is fantastic but you're gonna miss a little bit of this kind of a thickness from the drum view which is coming from the header honey and the drum view it's a touch more sweeter than the whiskey liqueur however i love it and uh, i'm gonna have a few more probably but for now thanks for watching don't forget again hit the like button subscribe and let me know if you want to see some special cocktails or anything special i mentioned in the video my last video you can watch it here i mentioned that this week i'm gonna do some uh, syrups however i couldn't do it because i've ordered one of those uh, brand new kind of a portable stove and it just came so I wasn't ready to prepare the video however I'm gonna record and I'm gonna start series with the homemade ingredients and we start with the syrups from next week so you can see how to make different syrups at home the proper way to make syrups and keep them preserved for a longer so you can use them for anything cocktails desserts just with the soft drinks whatever so stay tuned make sure to subscribe hit the like button leave me a comment and as always I love you and I leave you now I'm gonna go enjoy my new twist on Rusty Nail. Bye bye.